Witches. Ranged hostile mobs that roam the overworld mainly at night time or in dark areas such as caves. They can also spawn inside witch huts, which can be found in swamps. Additionally, they can spawn in place of a villager if one is struck by lightning. Pretty cool. Witches are unique in how they operate in combat. They throw splash potions offensively to damage or debuff the targeted player. These potions can include splash potions of slowness, weakness, poison and harming. So bringing milk to a witch fight may be a good idea as it can cure any debuff a witch gives you. Witches can also drink beneficial potions defensively to give them a fighting edge in combat. These potions can include potions of healing, fire resistance, swiftness and water breathing which they may use if they are underwater. Witches have 13 hearts of health and they are naturally very resistant to magic damage such as splash potions of harming, poison and thorns. If you kill a witch while they're drinking a potion, they may drop that potion along with a chance at the other large variety of loot they drop, which includes gunpowder, redstone dust, sugar, glass bottles, sticks, glowstone dust, and spider eyes. Yes, there is a lot of loot up for grabs from witches. You really don't know which item you're gonna get. Ha! <laughs> uh, sorry, I had to. Lastly, witches are unaffected by sunlight. There you have it, witches are a rather interesting and unique mob. I hope you learned something this episode and most of all enjoyed watching. Feel free to show your support for the series by leaving a rating and or a request to keep the series going. My name is Mr. QB and before I end the episode, it's trivia time once again. What happens if a baby villager is struck by lightning?